Trash. What, what, Jimmy? Why was he I, driving? I, I got an email communique. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's, here's the title of it. Hey, Jared, thank you. Oh, thanks, Jared. How High Highness uh, out-tipped LeBron James last night. Yeah. I guess he meant his highness. <laughs> but his highness apparently out-tipped <laughs> LeBron James in a restaurant. <laughs> his highness is an ass. <laughs> can we, can we get him on? It's been way too long. I got that, that same email uh, yesterday. So he, he, Ian's he, big scoop is that he tipped <laughs> more than LeBron James did at the same restaurant. Hey, man, the show's going to get busy with guests. Can we get him on? we got to get Ian on. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot him an email. Yeah, he out tipped um, LeBron James last night. Well, no, it wasn't even on the same night. Right, he like, said the waitress told him. Yeah, that uh, LeBron <laughs> had tipped three dollars after eating a lot, and his oh highness God. left a thirteen dollar tip. <laughs> LeBron, <laughs> that's big. Story. Left three bucks. No, but here's, excuse me, here's the uh, the headline on his website: <laughs> IUC World Exclusive. His Highness versus the King. How I out tipped LeBron James last night by more than quadruple. <laughs> That's a headline. So that means he, he tipped twelve to fifteen. Thirteen dollars, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. And that's his story. <laughs> yeah. I love Ian. Wow. I, I'm a huge fan of I Ian. Used to, I He's used one of those guys, him. you put him on the radio, people either love him or hate him. Yeah, oh, I yeah. used to totally be on that. I, I just can't stand him. Really? Uh, now I'm, now I'm, I'm, all I'm definitely all in. I'm all so in. Jews tip better than black people. <laughs> with a four to one margin. Is that what we're saying? Mm. That's what I'm saying. We got uh, Ian in the, uh, he's catching a flight in a few minutes. So. Okay. Ian Halperin, cool. congratulations on your big exclusive, sir. His Jim Norton highness. just uh, uh, let us in on it there. Hey, first of all, to you guys, it's His Highness. And I'll tell yes. you one thing I, I make King LeBron look like uh, just regular people now. And I always said this, you know, when you're with people to become truly great, one has to stand with the people, not above them. But LeBron James, he stands below them because this guy's a cheapskate, man. Yeah, he, he makes he makes Jews look, you know, like menches. This guy. Oh. He goes into a restaurant in South Beach. It's called the Big Pink. Have you heard of that joint? No, no, the Big Pink. Yeah, I've never it's been there. A, uh, it's a trendy diner. Uh huh. It's. Um, I might have actually been there. Wait a minute. I was I was probably drunk. Mm. I think I was there though because I remember going to a trendy diner. Down there. You know, they, they have about 400 things on the menu there. It's a spectacular menu. It's open till 3 in the morning. Yep, I, I like was there. After the heat game. I went to the heat game the other night against Indiana, and there's they should have blown out the heat. They were winning by something like 13, 14 points entering the fourth quarter, and then they just collapsed. I mean, I, I would have fired the coach just based on that performance. You don't lose a game when you're up 13. I don't care if you're playing Ch Will Chamberlain, Magic Johnson, Dr. J., and uh, you know, way to keep it current. Together. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> so uh, I his, hate to mix up the sports. So but, His yeah. Highness, uh, I got to ask you though. The number one fucking show in the world, man. Oh. I, I, that's my next exclusive. Ah. You know, my barometer for success is anyone who lasts more than ten years. You've passed the test, and I, I firmly Jesus. congratulate you. Thank you, sir. You. Passed that Thank a few you, years ago already. I want to ask you though about this tipping thing because yeah. it's a big story. Um, how did you find out that he was a skinflint? All right. I go in after the game. I go to the Big Pink. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm with these two people from Chicago. One of them's a really smoking hot chick. Boobs like, of just course. sticking right out. And then uh, a friend of mine from South Beach. Right. Mm -hmm. He's a real estate agent. So we all go in. And uh, start talking up the waitress because she was smoking hot, man. Yeah. The first thing I noticed is, you know, the panties sticking out a bit when she bends down. And, man, you know, I just wanted to give it to her right then and there, right from behind. She was, you would have loved her, Anthony. Oh, yeah. Really Great. hot blonde from Louisiana working in South Beach. So ah. we go in and start talking her up. And then she tells me LeBron was in here the other night. And she starts bitching, man. She says the guy had no class, he ate like a tiger, he only left a three-buck tip, she said, you know, and on a very expensive bill. What, what, what's a very expensive bill? i got to slow you down. Like a, a few hundred dollars? My, mine was sixty-five fifty-one. because when His Highness goes out, he picks up the tab for everyone. It's not an expensive place. I left 13 bucks on sixty-five fifty-one. He should have used his tip calculator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, i, I got to make Jews look good. Because, yeah, I do concede. Then kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest wannabe Jew in the world, Madonna, she's a fucking cheapskate.
appreciate it, man. <laughs> I used to date her cook, and she, you know, the cook told me who was in your studio once. She said she's the biggest, and she said that on your show. She's a motherfucking cheapskate, you know. So uh. she, she wears the Kabbalah, you know, but she takes it to another extreme. And Bill Cosby's a notorious cheapskate. You know, Gwyneth Paltrow, apparently she uses the excuse she can't calculate what 15 or 18 percent of the bill is. So she's really? way under. So tell her to do 10 percent um, twice. Right. Yeah, exactly, man. Just leave 20 percent and then take away a buck if you're uncomfortable leaving 20 percent. I, I, I know that, you know, when Anthony goes out, right, what do you leave, Anthony? I uh, always leave at least 20 <laughs> percent. It's, it's just easier to calculate that way. You take the bill, you move the decimal over one, and you double it, and that's what you fucking do. That's it. That's right. I, I, I always leave 20% plus my phone number if the chick's out. I did give it Oh, the you. Number. Oh, shit, Ian. She has since called. She has since called. I, I'm hoping to give it to her right from behind tonight, dude. She is smoking hot. But wow. anyhow, she was venting. Something tells me your tip would be smaller LeBron. than LeBron's in that situation. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I think my tip's bigger than LeBron. Seriously, uh, he, he, you know, apparently his schlong, you know, ain't too uh, pretty. But uh, oh, how'd you find that out? You know what I'm saying that here. Is, out? She said <laughs> his bill was significant, significantly higher than mine. Ah, well, so you're busting Three apart. Bucks. You're busting apart the uh, stereotype that uh, black people uh, people tip a lot. Is that well, what you're you doing? Scotty Pippen, you know. Yeah. No tipping Pippen. No tipping Pippen. Is that what they called him? That's what his nickname is. Ah. See, all these guys go out, and they think it's carte blanche. Ah. Another guy's Ozzy Guillen, the manager of the White Sox. He'll go out, and he'll just disappear. I like, thought they couldn't season. calculate the tip, so they said, I can't figure, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And they just go, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, What are so we going to do about LeBron? Is somebody going to show up and... Uh, you know, well, you did it, man. Here. You got the world exclusive. Yes. I, I'm sure the the mainstream media is going to be all over I this mean, within the hour. Is it acceptable that this guy, what's he making, 16, 18 million a year before endorsements? Yeah. Leaves a three buck tip. I mean, if I was David Stern, I would suspend the guy Ooh. for the rest of the season. Uh, when does uh, when does the book come out about his tipping habits? <laughs> the fucking the, the, I'll do a book about the giant hardcover book. <laughs> About you know, how he tips uh, poorly. When does that come out? No, I think I'm gonna, you know. <laughs> and where's the bed in? Yeah, and the movie. Yeah, I, I, and the movie. Right. The movie. King James doesn't <laughs> tip. Right. LeBron James, right now. All right, I'm saying it on your show. Oh. I'll go one on one with him in the ring. I'm not afraid of him. Like uh, boxing or something, or tipping? Yeah, I'll, I'll take him on. You know what? I'm gonna do what you do. I'm gonna take on Tyson. I, I'm not scared of him. Me and Tyson, Madison Isn't Square Garden. Great, yeah. <laughs> And it, see, anyone could do that, Ian. You, you've, you're challenging everyone, but it never gets back to them. Look, that's true. Me and fucking Brad Pitt. I don't need Madison Square Garden. Right on the street today. Just fucking. Brawl. If he's out there at ten o'clock today, I will fucking fight Brad Pitt. What about you, Ed? You got one? Damn. I'll fight Pitt. Pitt can't fight. Look, look. I think uh, Tyson's comeback one on one with LeBron in the ring. I'm saying Fedor. Fedor. I'm, Anthony's I'm, gonna challenge Fedor I'm, right now. Listen to this. Uh, if Fedor, if you're listening. Uh, or your translators listening, uh, right now, right now, come down to the studio. Literally right now. I, right now. <laughs> yeah. You're not, leave, and you're I not will, leaving any leeway. And I will, <laughs> I will uh, fight you, and I, I guarantee I win. I'll win. All right, but it has to be right now. Right now. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Told me LeBron's oh, he's home. coming down the hall. Uh, quite that tired that night. She said he looked, uh, you know, he looked like he was run over by a truck. His eyes were bloodshot. Ah. Did he just play basketball? Well, who knows, man? You know, Miami, there's a lot of temptation. Who knows? You know? Everyone yeah. knows if he played basketball. <laughs> it's on TV. It's the news. It's, it's not, Did he play basketball? Yeah, who knows? Who knows? You know, that's his, that's his personal business. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. <clears throat> Ian, you, comment? You know, I also, put, I also put this post up. I furthered it with De Niro because uh, a waiter friend of mine told me last year that De Niro came into a joint in Beverly Hills and was uh, way too whiny. And he said, when De Niro got out of hand, we took things over in the kitchen. We were all rolling on the floor because they were putting in big <laughs> ones, goobers, gobbers. One guy pulled down his pants, peed in De Niro's food, and then they witnessed De Niro chowing down on it. Wow, that's another exclusive? 
That's another exclusive, man. I, I like your exclusives you, today. You know, that's why, I, you know, when you go to a restaurant, man, I like to get a view of the kitchen. View of the kitchen. Hello? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. I thought he was. No, no. Uh, people want to talk to Ian. I'm just trying to figure out. H hold on there, Ian. Steve in Connecticut. Everyone yes. very <laughs> impressed by this, by this story. Yes, Steve, you're on scoop. with Ian. Uh, His Highness, excuse me. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, His Highness, I got a real quick question. You're, you're still in Miami right now? I'm not going to tell you where I am. You know, I'm on the road, dude. He never does. He's undercover. I'm not. I'm okay, but movie. you're going. You got to be what going back to Miami you? then what tonight, are you right? Doing with this sad, sorry, <laughs> life. While I'm shooting a film, everyone on my crew is a. He just casually said he's shooting a film. Yeah, he's shooting a now film. Now we have to ask him about his film. We all pale. We all pale in comparison to you, Hyde. But my question is, if you're going to give it to this waitress tonight, either you have to be going back to Miami tonight, or you're just lying because you said you're getting on a plane today. His, so, no, his Highness likes to fly his prey around. You know, his highness oh, can afford to fly his prey around. Oh, Have so you ever flown joining. a chick from city to city and banged the hell out of her and treated her like a queen? What? What the hell are you talking about? about? <laughs> what was the last time you got laid? Uh, two days ago. I'm married, though, Ian. Sorry. Well, look, do you look at other women? Yes, Ian, I do. Yes, well, every day. You, see? Have you had a threesome? With your wife, uh, you open the sh no, just in college, bro. Or, or do you take the house seriously? Yeah, yeah, I do. Sorry, bud. Well, you're an honorable man because about I'd say about ninety nine percent of the uh, people who walk down the aisle today, they don't even read the vows. They have no idea what they're saying. They're just repeating the vows like parrots, man. That's, that's <laughs> Real quick though, you're you're a genius at changing the story. So tonight you're flying to Miami to bang this girl. Guy, Opie's one you're guy. You're flying tonight to bang this girl, right? That's so, the truth, so right? Because I'm bagging this girl tonight. That's what you said. Can't get her from behind. This Louisiana waitress, right? So you have to be flying there tonight because you you're already jealous. said you're going to be on a plane. I'm not jealous. I'm just calling out your bullshit. You're I love how the fans love fucking. Oh, I know. And they, they pick apart. Get, they pick apart everything. They can't he says. get enough of him, man. He sounds so frustrated in marriage, man. He's just uh, making the. Fun. All right. Well, why don't we go to? Ju and he's taking it out on me. Yep. Why don't we put a real fan of his highness on the line for once? This is John in Hoboken. John, his highness. Hey, Ian. Good, good talk to you. Um. So let me get yeah, this right. LeBron with a three dollar tip. For maybe one person, you left fifteen for four, and you're bragging about it. Ooh, dude, do numbers, all right? Okay. Do math. You're Are you good at math? What, what did you get on? <laughs> with all due respect, what did did you pass math in high school? Yeah, yeah, I did. And, and how yeah. do you know LeBron was alone? I never <laughs> said he was you were alone. You're bragging about bringing four people for a sixty-five dollar bill, and you left thirteen dollars. You left twenty yeah, percent. You're bragging right now. Uh, exclusive article on it. No, I'm saying His Highness out-tipped the king. There's another king. It's called LeBron James. You're, you're, you're the king and of the king. King. This, this was a king. This was a royal battle. Have you ever There's watched royal the WWF battle. when they have a royal battle? <laughs> okay, well, how many people was LeBron with? Three. You got the chance. Make up something good, Ian. <laughs> Dude, I don't care who he was. I don't care if he was alone with his hand on his fucking four-inch cock. The fact is, it's a numbers <laughs> game. All right? It's a numbers game. You had four it's people on 20% in your bragging game. I also say this for the record. My dick's twice the size of LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, change the subject, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. What's I'm your... Uh, more of these originals. I want to yeah. know what your movie's about. Oh, yeah. You're filming a movie, What sir? are you filming? Yeah, I, I never, I never revealed it. I never let the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. Until it's done. All right, because that makes otherwise sense. Otherwise, they shut me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. It's, a, it's not. Wait, wait, a... Give me a couple more callers before I hop on this flight. All right, all right. Um, all right. Uh, hey, Jimmy in Staten Island. Island. Jimmy. Hey. Good morning, boy. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing, Jimmy? His Highness, how can one become a washwoman cunt like him and make a fortune? Does he have a seminar? Can, can I be like him? Boning different girls all around the place. Bullshit. How, how does one be like His Royal Highness? Yes. Jimmy, yes. I'll tell you what. What? You, you sound like a good guy. You sound astute. You sound like a student of the game of life. <laughs> I, I will take you one-on-one -on -one into my office, and I will change your life. I make Anthony Robbins, okay? I'm, it's like LeBron compared to Spud Webb. 
Spud yeah, Webb. No. I remember Spud Webb. Yeah. Motivate and change your life. I kid you not. I've done that to many people. A motivational speaker? Yes. I've <laughs> spoken many times. I, I will. Look, I'll say this to any of these motherfuckers listening to your show. They all criticize me. If any of you motherfuckers with your hands on your dicks right now listening to the sexiest voice in radio can do it better than me, I'll be the first guy on my feet clapping. But until then, shut the fuck up. Oh. Your potato chips. And go to bed frustrated, looking at your wife and thinking of his heart. Bravo. Wow, I don't know how God you come back from that. Ian, I'm sorry, but he got you, Jimmy. Ian fucking knows how to just own people. Ken from Greenlawn, home of Harbor Fields High School. Oh. Uh, Ken, what's going on? Hey, not too much, guys. Hey, I'll bring you a cheap fuck. I want to know how you took out four people for dinner and only spent $65. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up on that. In Miami, yeah. In Miami, of all places. What'd you get for 65 bucks? Big Pink. I recommend the restaurant. The food was actually, compared to the rest of the shit in South Beach, usually when I go out in South Beach when I'm there. Ian, answer the question, though. You're you're deflecting. 65 bucks for four people? That's impossible. Four people, $65, and and no one had drinks? Google the menu. Google it, dude. Google it. Google it. All right, we'll Google, Google it. it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. What's the name of the restaurant? Big Pink. Somehow when you Google Big Pink, other shit comes up. Yeah. <laughs> wow, does a lot of other shit come up. Yeah. yeah. What did you guys eat? Did everybody have just bread sandwiches, a meatloaf, something? Okay, yeah, we want, we want a plate of fries. <laughs> And one piece of pie, they give you extra whipped cream on it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. And under, you're getting one of the best meals you'll uh, it's probably McDonald's or something. Anyone. The food was fresh. All right, let me go to let me go to Vinny in Brooklyn. Uh, Vinny. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey. Good morning, your ass holiness. <laughs> yes, yes, Vinny Barbarino. Oh, oh damn. You. Tell me some I'm jokes a, that are new. Okay, I'm I'm an extra on the set. Where Ian says he's filming, okay. but he doesn't want to reveal it. He's doing a gay porn. Oh he's shit! He's gang thing by ten black guys with nineteen-inch cocks, and he's getting oh. it every in every orifice he has. <laughs> oh, oh, I've been to yeah, that I'll place. You, it's, it's, it's you taking it up the ass, in the mouth, in the ear, and I'm just directing traffic. So no, you're you not, know. buddy. You're the one that's you're taking doing everything. A fucking good job, Vinny Barbarino. Like like the other Vinny Barbarino, John Travolta. You're as gay as a. Th- Wow! Oh, uh, what uh, what the least, hell are you implying I, there? At least I could admit that I'm homosexual and I'm proud of being gay. But buddy, you're no. just taking it every week. Men don't turn me on. I'm telling you right now. All right? Yeah, I've played a lot of gay characters. Prove it, Ian. Phones. Prove it. Exactly. I've never got a hard on for anything <laughs> fucking you know more feminine, you know more masculine See? than uh, Humpty Dumpty. So. Yo, stop, stop <laughs> saying you're taking in the ass for twenty five cents a pop, and you know that you fuck. Oh, yeah. The yeah, appetizers are like nine bucks. Oh really? Yeah. All right, all right. He's off. Thank you, uh, Brooklyn. All right, shut up. We're looking at the menu. You told us to look at the menu. Starters and snacks are like nine bucks, thirteen. What's the cheapest thing you can get for four people? Let's do some easy math for everybody. Yeah. So if everyone got a lousy garden salad, that's eight bucks a pop. That's that's thirty two dollars in salads alone, Ian. Bowl of chili is only five dollars. Bowl of chili. Uh. So what do you guys have at the Big Pink? All right, I'll tell you. One guy had the grouper. Ah, uh, where's the grouper? I had I had the cob salad and soup. It was a combo. Okay. Another person had a burger. <laughs> And the other one had a salad. All right, the grouper is fourteen twenty-five. <laughs> the grouper is fourteen twenty-five. All right, fourteen twenty-five, right there. All right, we're ready. Right, let's keep track. Cobb salad. Cobb salad. Soup, soup combo. Uh, Cobb salad is twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for the Cobb That's salad. Nine ninety-five. What's the next? What? Thing? I had that. Half and half. Half and half. It's nine ninety-five. Oh, half salad. Yeah, no, that's impossible. Because um, half the Cobb salad <laughs> would be six bucks or so, right? Soupy salad. All right, maybe. All right. Combo for nine ninety-five. All right. There, so there's taxes involved too. All right, we'll allow his nine ninety-five. Right. So the, grouper and Cobb salad. Then the burger. Here? Burger. Just a regular burger. Yeah, one burger. Cheeseburger, right? Uh, no, it wasn't cheese. Veggie? Uh, 10 big, 50. big pink burger is 10 50. 10 50. Round up to 11. All right, and what was the other guy? And another salad. What, what kind, kind of salad? Well, with chicken strips on top. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I love how Ian's got to tell us what they all ate. <laughs> all right. Dumbest radio chicken ever. Chicken topping salad. All right. 
And and what about drinks? And uh, what about appetizers? Do you, you share some no, poppers no, no, or something? Dude, it's fucking eleven thirty. About twelve dollars for the chicken I mean, salad. Twelve dollars for the chicken salad. All right. Salad. Well, did you have appetizers? Did you share something while you waited uh, for your food to come out? You don't, you don't get in shape like his highness by eating appetizers. I understand. I'm sorry uh, well, that I I asked. That. What a little dessert. Did you guys uh, get any sodas? Sodas. What'd you drink? Uh, Actually, I think the lady with us, she had one uh, one crown. So she did have a drink. A crown? Yeah. All right. All right, one crown. What the fuck is a crown? Right. Yeah, I think that's I think. about it. Oh. Let's do the math here. All right. I have the bill somewhere right here. Let's get... You know what? Let me dig it up, man. Well, it's 48 without drinks or dessert. And tax. And tax. And tax. We're, we're, we're close. Yeah, yeah, we are close. Yeah, yeah. we're pretty close. Sixty-five, twelve. Sixty-five, twelve. So you know, look at that. Uh, maybe somebody else had a soda. I have no idea, man. His and and you left. And you left how much for a tip? Thirteen. So forty-eight and thirteen is sixty-one. Why couldn't you leave the eighty? No, 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 no. It was sixty-five, twelve. The bill. So why did you leave thirteen? Just yeah. leave eighty. He's a Jew. Look, Probably. Look, a rod, uh, man. A rod. Don't you round up and just go fuck out here? Here's eighty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. I do the Who math. Who doesn't do that? 65, 13. You know, I'm not Moses. I'm His Highness. His <laughs> Highness lives 20%. Well, his numbers you do work out. fucking chicks on this phone? Uh, his numbers are. did work out, by the way. Oh, sure. One of the movies, uh, uh, one of the... Uh, st- we have to go, right? All right. I, I, we got to go in a second here, but one of the yeah. guys that is in uh, the movie that you're making there, Ian, uh, welcome yeah. to the show, King Dong. King Dong. Good morning, boys. How you doing? <laughs> hey, King Dong. I just wanted to talk to my little bitch, Ian. How you doing, baby? Yo, King, you know, yo, I, I hope you're better than the stiff LeBron James. You know, it's a blessing, New York. Well, of course you call his ass yeah, a stiff bitch. You ain't nothing York, but a little ATM machine on our set, yo. Yeah. Yeah, keep going, King. Keep going. I absolutely yeah, will, because that's what you have. All right, I think we're done. Oh, my God. Ian, we love you. Yes, yes your yeah, highness. I love you guys, man. Just think of me tonight while I'm getting a lap dance from this Louisiana chick. Everyone whack off about 8.16 p.m. because she's going to be in my hotel room. <laughs> and I, I send out love to everyone out there. I love everyone. Thank right, you, yeah. Your Highness. Everyone success. I wish everyone success, all the success and happiness in the world. And to all you motherfuckers who are married and said the vows, hey, you might as well be in your grave right now. Wow. Thing to be, having a Damn. All right. Blow everyone you kisses here. Listen to your show. Blow everyone kisses now. Kisses. Kisses for everybody. Yeah, I, I blow kisses to everyone. You guys are the number one fucking <laughs> show in the world. Thank you, Ian. I don't know how it's stern, but I think you guys are ahead of him right now. Your Highness. See you, man. Thank right. you, sir. There goes His Highness. Always a pleasure.